Do you know what this is? Do you know what that means? That's right, we're making sculptures. Before we get started though, we have to prepare our clay. These are the materials that you will need. These are the materials that you will want. We're gonna be using Sculpey for these sculptures. Sculpey is a oven bake polymer clay, a modeling clay. And what that means is you don't have to use water with this clay. Actually, you shouldn't use water with this clay. Instead, you soften this clay by rolling it in your hands and the heat from your hands will make it soft. You do that by breaking the big brick of clay into small pieces and then rolling those pieces between your hands until they get soft. They should feel like a marshmallow when they're soft. Then you can take all those little marshmallows and you can put them together to make a big, soft lump of clay. This is going to take a while, so while you're working on that, enjoy the rest of this video. The first lesson of drawing is that anything you want to draw is made of simple shapes. The same is true for sculpture, but you have to learn how to use your materials to make sure that your sculptures don't fall apart. In this example, I made all the shapes that I would use to draw a rabbit, and I tried to stick those shapes together. They look good, but I know that after I cook them, the shapes will dry and they'll separate, and eventually they will fall apart. So how do we avoid that? One way is to support the connections between the shapes. Here I'm using toothpicks to make the connection stronger, and then I'm really careful to rub and smudge and mold the connections to remove the lines that separate the shapes from each other. The word for 3D shapes, by the way, is form, so I'll be using that word for the rest of this video. Once all the big forms are connected and secure, I can use my fingers and tools to mold the forms until they look like the animal that I chose. An even better way to make sure your sculpture doesn't break is with an armature. You use wire or tinfoil to make what's basically a skeleton for your sculpture. Some artists build actual skeletons for their sculptures. Um, but the, all we need to do is make the basic forms, and you're going to connect those tin foil forms with toothpicks or metal, and then flatten your clay and wrap it around your armature like a skin. And then you sculpt and mold and shape that skin until you like the way it looks. Don't hesitate to use tools to get the shapes and the forms and the textures that you want, but don't worry too much about making your sculpture perfectly realistic. As long as the biggest forms are in the right place, you can get a great likeness just by adding lines or paint after the sculpture is cooked. Yes, we have to cook your sculptures before we paint them. Believe me, it's really gross to draw onto Sculpey with a Sharpie. Um, when they are cooked though, the way they are here, you can draw or paint right onto your sculpture. Uh, we won't be painting these sculptures. I'll show you how to paint on clay in a different lesson, in a different video. Uh, but you can draw on these sculptures with ink or with acrylic paint. You start just by drawing in pencil whatever you want to draw onto your clay. And then, like everything, every time you use a new art material, be sure that you test the material on something else before you use it on your finished piece. So here I use an old example sculpture to test the Sharpie and the ink. And it turns out I like the Sharpie better for outlining and the ink better for big areas. We will be using these sculptures for another project, so leave most of the sculpture white. But you can add texture and details uh, with a little bit of black. 